Corvette Hop. First of all, thank you for watching the channel. Today we're going to bleed the master cylinder of this 1969 Corvette. We're going to remove the master cylinder, bleed it, and reinstall it. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and bleed all four brake calipers on this Corvette. With that, keep those cars on the road. Always think safety. Use goggles to cover your eyes. Latex gloves to protect your hands. Remember, brake fluid is extremely corrosive. It can damage your hands, your eyes. It can also damage paint and other products on your car. So be extremely careful when handling brake fluid. Go ahead and jack the entire car. Place rear jacks on the rear portion of the frame on each side and front jacks on the front portion of the frame on each side. Don't be afraid to use additional jacks for safety. Also, jack the front end of the car higher than the rear end of the car. This will allow the massive cylinder to be much higher, allowing better gravity bleeding for the rear brakes. Remember, always think safety when around cars and heavy equipment. Your goal is no injuries and no mishaps. This is a good example of how the rear wheel is much lower than the front wheels. Remember, that's going to help us for bleeding the brakes. We're going to remove two nuts right here. One's here and one is here. I'm also going to remove two brake lines. One is here and one is right here. This will actually allow me to remove the entire master cylinder for bleeding. I'm going to go ahead and put some paper towel under the brake lines so if the fluid leaks it's not going everywhere. We use a 9 16 open end wrench to remove the brake lines off the master cylinder. There's two. Notice how it's open ended allow me to get over the brake line. And also two nuts which is also a 9 16 There we go. Both brake lines are removed. The nuts on each side of the master cylinder connected to the booster are removed. And now we'll go ahead and remove the master cylinder. And there it is. This is a master cylinder bleeder kit that I got. Part number 13911 from the O'Reilly Auto Store. So what we did was hooked up uh, connectors right here where the brake lines went ran the small hose that came with the kit into the brake fluid make sure it stays submerged at all times connected it right here and now we're gonna push on the cylinder a little bit to push out the bubbles within the system we still have quite a few bubbles in there and all I'm doing is watching for bubbles to formulate notice air escaping as I push the cylinder in with the screwdriver. Now remember to continue to wear your gloves and goggles because you don't want any of this to splash up in your eyes. Now all I'm doing is pushing on the cylinder, letting the fluid rotate to get all the air bubbles out and you'll be able to see those float to the top of the brake fluid. Now this actually took about 70 compressions into the cylinder and it's looking pretty good now. I'm just still still popping a little bit but no bubbles. Now what I did, I got a brand new gasket for the cover of the master cylinder. I'll go ahead and pull out the uh, bleeding hoses here and uh, install this before I put it on the car. Okay now it's time to go ahead and reinstall the master cylinder. This is pretty much just a reversal of how we removed it from the car. Here we go. Let's make sure we don't cross thread these brake lines. Now that I have the brake lines on, I can go ahead and tighten the master cylinder down to the booster. Let's go ahead and look at our fluid level. We'll go ahead and top it off. Now we're going to gravity 
bleed the brakes. And all I did was took a clear line, connected it to the bleed valve, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to let the brake fluid flow through and force all the air out simply by using gravity. I'm not going to push on the brakes at all. The only thing you have to do is make sure you watch the master cylinder and make sure you do not deplete it from fluid. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and open this one. Notice the fluid starting to flow out of the clear tube. Now we're going to bleed all four calipers in the same manner, starting with the one farthest from the master cylinder. That would be the right rear wheel, then the left rear wheel, then the front right hand passenger side wheel, and then the driver's side wheel. Now it's time to check the master cylinder for brake fluid. Here we go. As you can see, this is the for the rear wheels. And that's the front. We're already starting to deplete some of the fluid, so we'll go ahead and add some. Okay. This one should be bled. We'll go ahead and move the hose. Let's go ahead and tighten this one down. We'll recheck the master cylinder for fluid. And then move to the driver's side rear wheel. As you can see the rear wheel cylinder needs just a little bit more fluid. We'll go ahead and top that off and then go to that driver's side rear wheel. Just like the right rear wheel, we are going to install the clear hose on the left rear wheel. We're going to open the valve and allow the fluid to flow out of the clear tube. In fact, we're going to do the same on all four wheels on this car. There we go. With this one, we're doing the same thing. See the fluid flowing out? Simply by gravity. Again, always check the master cylinder. Make sure it never gets depleted. So this is actually a great system for a master cylinder. This is for the rear wheels, and this one right here is for the front wheels. There you can see the bubbles going out through the clear line. Just gravity, just pushing it on out. Now we're on the passenger side front wheel. And we're just gravity feeding this one. And again, we just hook the hose, open up the bleed valve, and just let it flow out. The nice thing about gravity bleeding is it only takes one person to bleed the brakes. Once complete on the passenger side, go ahead and do the driver side caliper. Go ahead and close the master cylinder cover. Check for leaks on all four wheels. Your brakes should be nice and firm at this time. Go ahead and install all four wheels, down jack the vehicle, remove all equipment from around the vehicle, and torque the lug nuts to about 80 foot pounds for the C3 Corvette. Go ahead and give it a test drive and try out those new brakes. Again, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe right here on the right hand side of your monitor. Hey, keep those cars on the road.